With the Pagani now finally finished, it was time to move on to something else, and at this time I decided to take one of the Alpha model kits from my stash and build that pretty much box stock with a little bit of alteration here and there by adding some custom carbon fiber touches, but not going overboard, going with a pretty fancy color and just making it look really cool. So first off, I started by scribing out the panel lines, mainly just removing a bit of trash that is in some of them, as pretty much all of the panel lines, apart from the ones on the front bumper on both sides, are excellent. They are nice, deep and wide and pretty much don't need any adjustment whatsoever. So of course I didn't. I just cleaned them out here and there where necessary, but that was pretty much only on the rear doors and along that side skirt. That's pretty much it. And then I could move on to the one on the front bumper, making that a little bit deeper as that was a little bit shallow. Once that was completed, I could move on to just sanding the entire body down with a 600 grit just to make it nice and smooth and also give the primer something to stick to and grab onto. I then moved it into the spray booth where I blew out all of the panel lines with all of the dust that is in there. I know that this probably is not the best place to do that and uh, that was pretty much already too late but next time I won't be doing that in the spray booth as that introduces a lot of dust in the booth. Now luckily that is all caught by the filters and the suction system behind it just removing it but then again still it's better not to do it over there. Once that was blown out all over the place I moved on to brushing over the entire body with an anti-static uh, cleaning brush from Tamiya just to remove the rest of the dust that might still be on there and then I could move on to priming all of those hard to reach ease to forget spots and moving on to the rest of the body just using some Tamiya gray surface primer. This is exactly the same stuff in the spray cans but then in a small bottle you simply need to dilute it a little bit with lacquer thinners until you're satisfied with the way that it flows through and can simply start applying it. After applying the first coat I let it sit and cure for about 10 to 15 minutes and then applied a second coat. Once that was completed I let that cure for about an hour and then moved on to sanding it smooth. There was a little bit of a texture in there but not too much but just enough for me to notice and not want it there. So I took some 3000 grit sanding sponges and sanded it all nice and smooth before I started the application of the two stage color. The color I decided to go with is from Street Blisters. This is one of the original colors that is available on the actual car. This one is pretty interesting as it is a sort of two stage paint, but then again isn't. It simply requires a black base coat for the gold to be applied on top of it to make it a lot more vibrant and a better looking gold. You could of course also use pretty much any other base color you'd like, but then again the color would come out differently. So this one is pre-programmed, uh, so to speak, with a black base coat and Street Blister supplies this as a two-stage paint with one bottle of black, just a simple straight flat black, and then one bottle of the gold. So the black was applied again on those hard to reach, easy to forget spots first, and then the rest of the body got about three coats until I achieved pretty much full coverage everywhere. So this first coat has been applied, I let that cure and flash off for about 5 to 10 minutes and then moved on to the second coat, let that flash off again and applied a third and final coat of black before setting it overnight to cure for the next day to start on masking. With the paint now cured overnight I could move on to masking off the roof and some of the black trim surrounding the windows. This is just to make it easier for myself so that I don't have to paint it black later on as it's already painted black. I figured I'd simply just mask it off and for the roof it is simply just the case of the carbon fiber decals going to be on top of this later so a black base is a nice one to start off with. Once the masking was completed, I moved it back into the spray booth, I removed the dust again with that anti-static brush, blew over it with some air, started on the hard to reach, easy to forget spots, and then started applying the color on the rest of the body in about three coats until I was happy with the finish and achieved full coverage everywhere.
So just like I did with the black base coat, about 10 minutes to flash off in between, and then I applied the second coat, again, a 10 minute flash off time, and a third and final coat was applied. After applying the third and final coat, I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes to flash off a little bit and also uh, be dust dry, so to speak, before moving on to removing all of the masking tape in the windows themselves and also from the roof. I then again set it overnight to cure and then the next day I moved on to creating some templates which I actually already did for the roof as I simply just reused the masking tape for the template that I made on the roof earlier and then transferred that to the carbon fiber decals from Skill Production, applied some decal setting solution on the roof for underneath the decal just to help it slide in place, stick a little better and also start to soften it a little bit so it can be formed to the roof a lot nicer and then started the tedious job of forming it, shaping it, making it a bit more uh, stretched on some of the corners, and of course, removing all of these fingers in here to get a nice smooth finish on the carbon fiber effect. About 15 minutes later I finished applying the decal to the roof and could then carefully start cutting off all of the excess front, rear and also on the sides for those small roof rails which I wanted to remain black. For this I'm simply using a brand new super sharp blade just to cut through it really easily and then peeling off the excess very carefully with some tweezers. Aside the big carbon fiber decal on the roof, there were of course some smaller decals that needed to be applied as well. These came with the kit, the Alfa Romeo logo for on the trunk, and those small uh, Quadrifoglio logos for on both front fenders. The decals are applied and conformed to the body itself, so I could then again let those cure before applying the clear coat. The clear coat that I'm going to be using this time is from my friend Robbie. He has created the Roma SL clear coat. This is a specific clear coat that he formulated himself over a lot of trial and error until he was really happy with the way that it sprays. 
lays down and also the smooth finish that it gives. If you are interested in this 2K clear coat, I will be leaving a link to Robbie's Facebook page where you can contact him and he will redirect you to the dealers or you can simply buy it directly through him. If there is a lot of interest, I can start uh, becoming a dealer myself in combination with Robbie and selling this through TSMC webshop. That of course is my own web shop. At the moment, I don't have it yet. I really do like this clear coat. This is the first time I've tested it and I wanna test it a couple of more times. It works really well, lays down nice and smooth. And if you follow the instructions, there is probably nothing that can go wrong apart from some drips and runs if you apply it too thick, of course. Again, if you are interested, the links are down below. And if you want me to start selling this as well through my web shop, let me know down in the comments. And if there is enough interest, I will start doing so, of course. After applying the first mist coat, so to speak, I let it sit and flash off for about five minutes and then moved on to the second coat. The second coat is a little bit heavier than the first one just to achieve a bit of a smoother finish. You can add a little bit of thinner to the mixture of clear coat for the second and also third coat. I did not need to add any more thinners as the clear coat is already nice and thin as it comes mixed and is a bit warmer at room temperature. If you are experiencing it to be a little bit too thick, then you can add about maximum 10% extra thinners to that clear coat mixture, but I again, did not need to. The second coat is applied. I again let it flash off for about five minutes to move on to the third coat. Now, same with the second coat, you can add the thinners if you haven't already done that in that second coat for this third coat to lay down even smoother. I personally did not need to as the clear coat was super nice and thin and sprayed and laid really, really well. So after this third and final coat was applied, I was super happy with the finish that it gave and I'm gonna set it to cure for a couple of days before moving on to touching the body. But in the meantime, I will probably be moving on to the interior and maybe also a little work on the chassis that is required for the next video.